Her powerful voice, that incredible range, entertained millions of people across the world for decades. Tonight, fans are remembering Aretha Franklin in her hometown. The legendary singer passed away today inside her home at the age of 76 after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. Our Sophia Beausoleil live in Detroit tonight with tributes for the singer. Sophia? Hi, good evening. Well, you know, Aretha Franklin was born in Memphis, Tennessee. Her family moved up to Detroit when she was a young girl, and she grew up here in the Motor City. Her father was the pastor of this church, New Bethel Baptist Church, for several years, and it was during that time that she joined the gospel choir. She blossomed as a singer, and, well, we all know what came about of her talents. So many people have enjoyed her music. People are enjoying it right now, actually, right behind me. They're blaring it, and that's what we've noticed since we've been in Detroit for several hours. People have been playing her music from their cars, from their homes even on the streets from their phones. And people have also been coming to the church to drop off balloons, flowers, and notes to pay respect to the Queen of Soul. Inside the church where she grew up. Thank you for her music. The community spent the day. Thank you for her generosity. Remembering Aretha Franklin. Well, my dad knew her. My dad knew her dad. And uh, when she was younger, my dad used to uh, sing in the choir. Outside New Bethel Baptist Church, fans made a memorial to honor the daughter of Detroit. We're just big fans, and we came out to show our respect and gratitude for the Queen of Soul, a native Detroiter, has blessed us with the richness of her voice and sound. I just thank God that she lived her legend and her life as she wanted to. Aretha Franklin was the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She won 18 Grammys and sang for three presidents. Many remember her iconic performance at former President Obama's inauguration. Over the years, Aretha Franklin's songs have become a fabric of our country's music history. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect, come on, it's got to be respect, absolutely, my favorite. And while Aretha Franklin may be gone from this earth, her music will forever live on. God bless Detroit, God bless Aretha, queen of soul forever. And while Aretha Franklin is always known for her music, she was also an inspiration to the civil rights movement. Now, when R-E-S-P-E-C-T was released in 1967, it was adopted as the anthem not only to race, but also gender social movements. And Aretha was also known for giving back to her community. Now, when it comes to her funeral, a spokesperson from her family says that is currently in the works and they will let people know as soon as possible. Reporting live from Detroit, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.